Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. Hi boys and girls, how are you today? How are you feeling this lovely Sunday? I'm so happy to be here with you once again. And you know what? It is the month of January, which year 2023. So we are still celebrating the Happy New Year. So turn to your friend and tell your friend, Happy New Year, my friend. And so boys and girls, we continue with our topic for the month of January for the year 2023. About what? Jesus, the compassionate friend. Jesus, the compassionate friend. So let's all sit nicely. Let's all stand before we start our lesson so that we can do what? We can pray. So let's all stand up, humble ourselves and close our eyes. And we start with our fathers, our Lord, the Lord's prayer. Let's all stand. Let's all stand. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. They will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for this lovely Sunday that you've made us to see this day, oh my Father. As we start our lesson, may you be with us. May you guide these little children so that they may learn your word for today, oh my Father. We thank you for good health. We thank you for protecting our families, dear Lord. For we pray this, trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen. So boys and girls, this is our fourth Sunday of the month of January. And we've been talking about what? Jesus, the compassionate friend. Turn to your friend and tell your friend or your neighbor or your sister or your brother or your mom, your daddy. Tell them Jesus, the compassionate friend. And we say that Jesus is our friend and Jesus loves us. Jesus does not want to see us when we are doing what, when we are suffering. So boys and girls, today our topic and our lesson is about what? Jesus heals and forgives sins. Again, Jesus heals and forgives sins. How many people have ever been sick? I am sure it is everyone. Take a minute and remember how you, how you were feeling when you were sick. Were you playing outside? Were you eating well? Were you smiling? Were you happy? Were you helping in the house? Were you able to make your bed? Were you able to help clean the dishes? Were you able to help tidy up your toys? No, boys and girls. How do you feel when you're sick? You feel so bad. You don't eat well. Anything you eat, you feel that it's not uh, tasting yummy. You don't have the energy to go play outside. You don't even have the energy to go and um, play with your toys. You just feel like doing what? Sleeping. And that is why when we go to the doctor, the doctor gives us what? Medicine, which will make us feel better. And we also pray to God and tell God that, God, please help me to feel better. God, please help my friend to feel better. Please, God, help my parent who is sick to feel better. Because when we are sick, we don't feel well. We feel really, really, really bad. So boys and girls, cross your hands so that we listen to our story for today. And so boys and girls, from our Bible, and our reading for today comes from the book of Mark. Our story comes from the book of Mark, chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. And remember, boys and girls, Jesus used to walk around teaching and healing people and everyone used to follow them around plus the 12 disciples who used to follow Jesus and it happened now that when people heard that Jesus was coming around and he was going to sit somewhere in a room for them to, um, for him to teach the people and everyone followed him and went inside them the room and they would uh, they would listen to his teaching they they just loved Jesus and they loved following him uh, around and it happened that 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 there were some friends and one of the friends was feeling sick and they heard that Jesus was around so they asked themselves what are we going to do so that our friend can go and see Jesus maybe Jesus is going to heal him when they remembered that they were going inside that room, the room was already full. It was so packed and everyone was full. There was no space. And they didn't have space to go and put their friend there. And remember, their friend was now just lying in, in bed. He could not walk. He was so sick. 
And so the friend said, we are going to do something because we know that Jesus is the only person who is going to heal our friend. We are going to do what? To make, um, to make some hole in the roof. So they found a space in the stairs that took them, that took them to the roof. Do you know a roof? Yes, on top of your house. So they said we are going to make a hole there so that we are going to make sure that our friend goes where Jesus is. So boys and girls, see the way they had a lot of faith that Jesus was going to heal the friend. So they went up the stairs and then they made a big hole. And then because their, their friend was lying in a bed, they did what? They lowered the bed into the middle of that room where everyone was sitting and, and even Jesus was sitting there. You can imagine when you're just seated and then you see somebody from the roof coming down to the ground, to the floor. That is what happened. And when Jesus saw the man who was lying on, uh, who was just lying down there on the bed and he was feeling so sick, he just looked at him. And you know what he told him? He told him, my friend, your sins have been forgiven. What was he told? Your sins have been forgiven. Ah, and the people in the crowd were wondering inside that room. Who is this who is telling people that your sins have been forgiven? And the only person who can forgive sins is who? Is God. But boys and girls, God knew what they were thinking. And he told them, yes, I am who I am because I can forgive sins. And I can also do what? I can also heal the sick. And the next thing Jesus did, he told the man who was lying there, Stand up, pick up your mats, and you do what? And you walk. The man could not walk. He, 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 was, um, he was sick, he was paralyzed. So he had stayed f uh, without walking for, for, for many, many, many years. So you can imagine Jesus telling him, Stand up, pick up your mat, and you do what? And you walk. You can imagine, boys and girls, you've been feeling very sick, very sick, you're so tired. And then someone tells you, Stand up and walk. And when you just stood up, you feel that you are, you are okay, you are not feeling any pain, you are not feeling tired anymore. So that is what happened to the man. He was told to stand up and pick up his things and you do what? And he started walking. And he was able to walk, he could jump up, he could wiggle the toes, you can imagine. And then he could even jump, he could even do some star jump. Because now his body was okay. Jesus had healed him. Jesus had done what? Healed him. And it is because of the faith that he and the friends had. Imagine if it was, what were you going to do? The, the room is so packed, it is so full, and you have a sick friend, and you want your friend to go see Jesus. Knowing that, Jesus was the only person who was going to heal him. Were you going to think like the friends? By uh, using the roof so that they can lower him down? Were you going to think like him? Or you are going to just sit there and say, I'm going to wait for all the people to go away so that I can go, I can find space and see Jesus. The faith that the friends had was very, very, very great. And that is why God, Jesus told them, because you are of your faith, you are healed. Because of your faith, you are healed. Because boys and girls, Jesus loves us and he will always forgive, forgive our sins and he will always do what? Heal. Ah, so when you're feeling sick, the first person that you will remember to, to pray for and ask for forgiveness and ask to be healed, it is who? It is Jesus. It is who? Jesus. Because Jesus is our friend and he will love us and he, Jesus doesn't feel nice when we are sick because we, he loves us and he will always want us to do what? To be, to be happy. Just like the way he decided to make the man to do what? To walk ah. Again. And the people in the crowd were wondering, eh, this man, he must be a great man. For him to forgive sins and for him to heal that man, it means he's a great person. So boys and girls, we are learning today that Jesus being our friend, he will always forgive us and he will always heal us. Before even you run to the hospital or as you are going to the hospital to be treated by the doctor, remember to pray to God and ask God to do what? To heal to heal you or to heal anyone who was feeling sick. So boys and girls, from our story, we learn that always God will do what? Will forgive us and will, will do what? Will heal us when we have faith in him. When we have faith in him. Okay, boys and girls. And so our memory verse comes from the book of Mark 2 verse 5. Mark 2 verse Five, and it is very short. It says what? Son, your sins are forgiven. Very short. Mark 2 verse 5. It says what? Son, your sins are forgiven. So turn to your friend and tell you, the person sitting next to you, 
son, your sins are forgiven. And that is our compassionate friend. Who is who? Who is Jesus Christ. So boys and girls, as we continue learning about Jesus, our compassionate friend, don't forget that he can forgive our sins, he can forgive us, and also he can provide for for us. Okay, boys and girls, so I want to wish you a lovely Sunday and a great day, and let's all stand so that we may see the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. See you next time.